Hello, it's Michael. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about depression and uh, what you should do, in my opinion, uh, in my experience, uh, if you feel that you may be depressed or if you know that you have a history of depression. Um, I did another video a few months ago regarding this, and I think it's uh, entitled something about uh, what if you're tired all the time or being tired, something like that. I can't remember. I was in Pensacola when I made that video. And I spoke at length about some of the reasons that you might be tired. And uh, one of those was basically the concept of just basically uh, emotional fatigue and uh, or depression. Uh, so I'd like to talk a little bit more about that because I think it's an important topic. Uh, just because so many people nowadays, they... Uh, they are depressed or they self-diagnose as depressed or they are diagnosed by a healthcare provider and given medication as depressed. Sorry that it's so loud. Uh, I'm in Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans right now and uh, it's kind of windy outside so I'm just kind of hoping that the uh, I've got the phone on the car taking the video so hopefully the wind noise is down but the road noise may be up. Uh, so anyway, my... Uh, suggestion if you are depressed or to do the following and that is basically number one behavior modification and behavior modification includes diet modification stress management sleep um, as well as journaling and meditation consideration of therapy, consideration of changing your environment, uh, and then potentially from that point on, uh, you know, in the beginning or uh, somewhere in this process, speaking to your medical uh, provider and determining whether or not uh, the two of you feel that drugs are ne necessary or whether or not you can uh, potentially handle this uh, this state of life without drugs uh, and if you consider like diabetics there are many diabetics that that find out that they have diabetes when they're overweight and through similar things as far as behavior modification exercise and diet modification they can actually uh, control their diabetes without uh, the necessity of taking insulin or anti-diabetic drugs so it's possible that if you are, uh, if you have a strong history of depression or even an acute depression, that uh, you might be able to do this drug free. Uh, which to me seems like it would always be a good idea. Uh, natural is probably best. Uh, so when you consider mend yourself, moving, educate, nourishing, decompress, we can go through e each of these things. We'll, we'll start with, with diet modification. Um, Eat nourishing food and hydrate. Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink soda. So basically what you're going to want to do if you're depressed and you're trying to actually make a, a strong change in your, in your life, an emotional life, because you can't change your physical life until you change your emotional life, uh, in, in my opinion. I think that it has to start here. Uh, so what you put in your mouth is going to affect how your brain works. So f next, you know, so obviously you're, you're going to want to, to, if you don't already know how to eat healthy, then to figure out a way to do that. Whether or not uh, you need to seek help from a dietitian or from other people that you know that eat healthy and kind of get some of their advice. Now I can tell you that I've trained uh, many people, and this is the first thing that that I have them do is if I'm in their kitchen we just go through their entire pantry with a black garbage bag or two black, black garbage bags and get rid of all of the shitty food all of the uh, all of this crap and make it less accessible uh, so basically you have to get it out of your house and then the next thing we do is we go to the grocery store and I kind of help them figure out what are some nourishing things that they'll actually eat and that they hopefully will enjoy and just make at, at, at first this is a big shift 
Uh, and if you're trying to make a big change in your life, especially in your emotional life, if you're excessively depressed, you, you may have to make a, a huge shift at first rather than uh, small baby steps, which is, which is how most people make changes. Uh, but if you need to make a big change quick, then you're going to have to make big changes. Uh, so to get back to that, we go to the grocery store and we have a, uh, we get a Sharpie, a black Sharpie to write on the side of, uh, on the water bottles and we get seven water bottles Monday through Sunday. And basically I have them drink throughout the day, every day, one gallon of water. And this replaces, uh, the two pots of coffee that they're drinking and the six cans of soda and the sweet tea and all and the alcohol and all of this so basically that's it and if you can't commit to to just making a, a small change like that uh, to just commit to drinking water then you're probably not going to be able to make the commitment in the other areas of your life as well and uh, you know and that's kind of sad and frustrating but not everybody is willing to do what it takes to make changes in their life and to take ownership and to apply uh, rational logic to their life structure. Uh, and if that's the case, then I probably can't help them. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's basically number one would be nourishing. The second one would be educating yourself. So at the same time, and I actually just did this just now, which is kind of funny. I just went to Rite Aid. Here's the receipt. And I got a notebook. And my plan for the, the day is I'm actually going to spend probably six hours out here either on the lake or at City Park in New Orleans and I'm listening to, uh, to YouTube videos and TED Talks on topics that are pertinent to where I'm at right now in my life situation. Uh, so educating yourself about yourself and journaling and learning from leaders and having mentors is, is something that you have to do. Uh, it's, it's silly to not do that. Um, I'm riding around in my car and I'm listening to it every time I drive from Biloxi to New Orleans, which is a 90 minute drive. I'm listening to 90 minutes worth of YouTube. Uh, I, I hardly ever even listen to the radio. Uh, so that would just go into thought modification, then behavior modification, uh, sleeping adequately and making sure you get adequate sleep so one way that you're going to be able to put your situation uh, self in a situation to do that is to change your decompression habits change the amount of television that you're watching every day change the uh the, the negative patterns that you're reinforcing uh your negative emotions with and then uh, and then exercise I mean, obviously and the first thing that i recommend for that is to basically get out in fresh air and to walk, move your body, feel the wind. The, you know, the wind is great for your skin. It's not so good for making videos. Uh, but, uh, and then if, if behavior modification and thought modification need uh, some help, then you uh, consider therapy. Most employers nowadays have some kind of a, uh, some kind of a, of a benefit where if you're going through an emotional distress in your life and it doesn't even have to be uh, work related it could be non-work related it could have to do with relationships or family or whatever they, they make it to where you can go to like a, a psychiatrist for like five visits or something for free and then many health care plans nowadays are much more apt to, uh, to to allow psychiatric you know just just general psychological counseling uh, because actually you, you're going to decrease the amount of money that they have to spend on your health care if you get yourself mentally healthy. Uh, you know, if, if you can put yourself in a position to not be uh, overwhelmed by depression and not need some of these medications on a permanent basis, then, uh, then it's actually beneficial for, the, uh, for your health insurance company. Uh, so these are some of the basic things so basic what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that if you have if you if you feel like you have an emotional drain and you're too tired and you you're having you, it, it's obvious that you have something to work on but you just don't know where to start basically throw the kitchen sink at it behavior modification thought modification diet modification sleep 
exercise, uh, not poisoning yourself, uh, and then you know, and then go from there, and you know, talk to other people. Use, you know, join uh, forums, social groups, and try and bounce the way you feel off of other people. Read other people's stories. See what other people are doing that are in similar situations to yours. Uh, you can post your story, and a lot of times you can do this. Uh, w w uh, anonymously and you can actually get some positive feedback um, and maybe actually help other people so one of my goals is to to not only decrease my own suffering is to decrease the, the suffering of other human beings so you might even actually be able to put yourself in a situation that when you learn something you can actually teach it to someone else and this also reinforces the good habits for your own behavior uh, so anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that, and maybe you can uh, watch my other video. It speaks a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a different twist on the same topic. And uh, anyway, thanks for listening. Mend yourself, move, educate, nurse, decompress. Thank you. Have a good day.